Hold on a second. I just got a copy claim on my uh, on my on my Warframe video. This right here apparently is a song that is being used in Warframe. I'm gonna go and listen to it. You guys obviously can't listen to it because otherwise this thing will get claimed. I just want to listen to this right now. Do I recognize this? This might be the song that was used in. Oh yeah, Dark Sector. Why didn't I say we're gonna? Yeah, I think that sounds roughly like it. So this right here is the email that I got. It says, Hi Postman 1, copyrighted content has been detected in your video. Where is Warframe taking this game? Whispers in the world playthrough. The visibility of your video is not impacted, but you can no longer monetize it. The copyright owner is now either monetizing it or re receiving analytics about it. It's not a copyright strike and does not affect your channel. So this right here uh, says it's not a strike. So like it does not mean that I uh, that my channel will go down if I upload this twice more, which is nice, but it does say that I can no longer monetize it. Now, right now, the channel is an, an uh, hours watch on the track of monetization. Uh, we just need to get to a thousand subscribers and then we can get monetized by ads. But this right here is kind of annoying if, you know, like I make this content and then I can't get ads on it. Uh, but the content used right here is Into the Void, Nine in Snails, which is the audio that um, right here is uh, is being used. And it says the impact on the video. Basically, it says we're, no, we're not allowed to monetize it. Like, like they will probably not take the money, but we'll also not take the money. So the money goes to YouTube. What can we do? We can leave the videos as we can edit out the segment. Or you can uh, submit a dispute to the copyright owner if you have the rights to the content, or you can re-upload the video without the copyrighted content. So this right here, because this is just my stream, I don't really care all that much about it. I do intend to upload a uh, full uh, unedited, like a full edited video later on, on which I do care a little bit more about what is going on with it. Uh, so I will edit this out. Uh, but yeah, let me go and explain as to like right, right right now why this is a very rather valid claim and why even though Warframe may have said like, hey, you know, the content should be cleared. And you may say as a trigger point, so I was like, hey, you know, you're covering the game. It should be the in-game sound. Why that's not okay. Let me go and explain that real quickly with, uh, with a new thing right here. If you create a piece of film or if you create a piece of music that's like a music note, you own the rights to it. So if I take that or if I take that and I put it into a new piece of media, then uh, if I don't like get a proper license for it, then that is basically me sitting from you. Uh, so the way that YouTube says, like, if you do that, then basically what you're doing is like, this is not right. This is bad. Um, so then the money that you make from this goes back to these people. Now, one of the things that you uh, that people often say is fair is fair use. So let's say that I want to talk about this piece of media right here, or I want to talk about this song right here. Uh, what I could do is I could say like, hey, listen up. Uh, I can't talk about a song or I can't talk about a piece of media without showing it. Um, but what I'm, what I'm doing is basically I'm taking this. I want to talk about like, hey, let's say, let's say we're going to be talking about um, like a piece of media where we see there's one person, then there's two people, and then there is only one person, right? Let's say this is a film and I want to talk about it. And I want to talk about the impact of like, you know, like showing first one person shows the loneliness. And then that shows the hope that there is, you know, uh, that there's that you can encounter someone else. But then it shows the, the tragedy of life where people will leave you and you will be alone forever after, right? Um, I can show that, like, like I can show that and then show these individual things one by one, be like, hey, like right here, I think that the, 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 the film artist portrays this very well, the sense of loneliness, or doesn't, uh, or the film artist right here portrays this very well. Like you talk about it and that's where fair use comes in. And that's also something that has been argued with games. Games like Let's Plays are kind of in this very much a gray area because in a sense, like just be honest about this, right? It's like how much different is a Let's Play, right? From a reaction video. Like this right here is the worst created like controller ever. But how much different is a let's play from a from a re reaction video? Because basically, what you're doing with a, with a let's play is you're playing through the game. Like yesterday, I played through the the quest of Warframe, and as I was playing through it, like you're playing it from start to end, everyone can see it. And uh, basically, I'm just kind of reacting to what's there. I'm giving more context. Like I'm I'm telling you like this is what this is what's going on. This is what's happening, right? But at the same time, like I could do that the same to like a movie. Like I could be playing a movie playing a brand new movie that comes out and being like, guys, today we're going to watch, uh, I don't know, like the, the new Deadpool movie that came out. We're going to watch the new Deadpool movie that came out. I have no idea what's going to happen in this movie, but I'm super excited for it. People are super stoked. This is what happened in the last couple of movies. So let's get started. You play it and, you, and then you watch it and you're like, whoa, man, that is wild. You know, like we just saw this scene. It is crazy. Let's talk about it, right? Or, oh no, is, is this going to happen? Is this, are they really going to do this? They put a Nokia in this bloody movie. That's wild, right? It's very similar to the games, but there's one big difference in games. And in games, like, is that you have agency in the game. And one of that, like, one of the things that what you see just in games is that unlike movies, which you just play, pause, and it's the same experience for everyone, because that you have some agency in the games, 
People have often argued that you can move around in these games, you can make it your own journey. So my play for a game can be very different from your play for the game because I may, be, may I make different choices. And one of the things that I think uh, game companies have very quickly realized is that through people playing their game, through very popular streamers playing their game, they saw a lot of traffic come towards their game. So what happened basically is that this form of reacting right here, even though it is very similar to these forms, was kind of accepted by uh, streamers and uh, streamers, uh, content creators, and also game companies because they recognize that having this relationship together works very well. That's not necessarily like the, the general rule. Why, if Whispers in the Wall uses a song right here, why might this song uh, be a bad way of being of being used, and why might that take the revenue right here from the video? Well, the thing is, is I can't like like with the game, I might be able to argue fair use about the game itself. I could say, um, like if we were to take it to court, which I don't know how well this would hold up, but technically if I were to take this to court, I could say like, listen, what I'm doing with this game is like I'm playing through it, but during the game, I am often interpreting it. I'm saying they do this well, they do this wrong. I can't tell this. I can't tell this story about the game if I'm not showing the game. I can't tell you that like, I can't be like, oh my God, this is so weird. They put a computer in the game. If I just showed my, my my face cam, if I just did did this the entire time as I played for the game, if I did this, I was like, oh my god, guys, did you see that? Like, whoa, it is wild. Like, oh man, like it would not convey anything about the game. One of their counter arguments might be, why do you need to show the entire quest? Why do you need to show the entire thing? To which a lot of streamers will say intuitively, it's like, oh man, that's because I streamed the game. I streamed this content and I have to go for it live. It's like, you don't necessarily have to. That's the premise of it live reactions on Twitch. It's like, you don't have to go for the entire video. You could prepare the thing beforehand and only show the things that you necessarily want to show but that's not how most twitch streamers work because that's a lot of work beforehand that's not how the culture is and generally this works but if we look at the situation right now where we're playing a game and their song comes up that like they bought the rights to they bought the license to like they bought the license to they got an okay here to use that in the game that doesn't necessarily cover that being covered by me because like a broadcast license me using this is a different license that probably has a different amount of money to it it wouldn't make sense for de to cover this and to then also cover this for whoever wants to stream it that wouldn't make sense like why would they pay for other people to stream it what then happens is i react to this but that includes this song and youtube detects this song now i don't have the license to the song if i had a license to the song let's say i have a license with umg i could just say like look i have a license to it it's okay we'll be totally fine I don't have that. What I could say then, and that is what Arteria says, like, hey, if I'm doing a Let's Play, I'm reacting to the Let's Play right here. So, like, I'm, I'm, I'm covering the Let's Play under fair use. Uh, and because of that, like, this should be covered under fair use as well, right? Well, as I said before, this right here is a very, um, this right here is a very, like, special case in the fair use thing. Even right now, the fair use is not, it's, it's not really a strong defense. It's something that you could argue in the defense, but it's not necessarily like, hey, it's fair use, then therefore it's okay. It has been argued in court, and some cases have been won, but that would be, let's say, the H3H3 case, where they use segmented clips of a video to react to it and give, and, like, explanation. It wasn't a market substitute, whereas a Let's Play of an entire quest could be seen as a market substitute if you're, like, only there to play the quest through watching through. So, that's right here. This right here is kind of the exception. And then the song maker could say, like, well, you know, sure, you're going for the quest, but you're not talking about the song. You're not reacting, like, like you're not criticizing the song. You're not here to be like, hey, you know, this song right here is doing this and this and this. I'm not, like, making comments on the song. I might say, like, oh, wow, that's, that's crazy. That's really cool. But it's, oh, wow, that's crazy. That's really, really cool. Is that a comment that was needed, that needed that entire bit of song? So in that sense, it's like, I don't necessarily think that I have a strong fair use defense on this. Um, even though the game may think that this is fine, I don't have a license to cover this game. We have a general understood agreement within this industry, in this community, that we do something like this. And it's okay. But we don't have, I don't have, like, that doesn't work in this industry. And I don't have the license, nor do I have necessarily fair use defense for this. So I will cut out that song and try and replace it with a... Uh, we have a similar song from um, from Epidemic Sound.